Every journey has a beginning, and with the arrival of F1 2021, yours is about to get underway. Whether you're new to the series or a veteran coming back for more, I can help. Let's get started. F1 2021 features multiple race styles, letting you match the in-game handling model to the way you like to drive. You have three options to choose from, casual, standard and expert. If you're new to racing games or still getting used to F1 2021, I would recommend trying out the casual race style. This is a great place to start as the game will set everything up so that the cars are easy to drive, while also lending a helping hand should you lose control. For example, the grass will be just as grippy as the road itself, so you won't spin the car as much. Also, if you go too far off track, the game will quickly get you back on, letting you get back to racing right away. The standard race style is, as the name implies, the typical way to play F1 2021, allowing you to tailor the game to your preferences. Here, you now have greater control over the game's assists, simulation settings, race rules and more. If you've just moved on from casual, I would recommend driving with all of the assists turned on to begin with. After a while, turn each one off, one at a time, and see how they change the way the car feels. As you get better at the game, you might find that you enjoy driving with some of these assists turned off, but there's no shame or pressure in keeping any of them turned on, just have fun out there. The third option is the expert race style, opening up all of the game's options and giving you full control of how you want to play F1 2021. As this is a beginner's guide we won't go into detail right now, but if you're already familiar with F1 games I'd recommend exploring the menus and seeing what you can do. With that said, it's time to hit the track and start learning how to drive. The key to any racing game are the circuits you drive on, and F1 2021 features all the good ones. You'll experience high-speed battles at Silverstone, technical challenges at Zandvoort, and narrow street circuits like Monaco and Singapore. Learning your way around these may seem like a challenge, but it's actually quite easy to do. The racing line assist is the most common way people learn the layouts, as it draws a big green line on the road. This line tells you where to brake, turn, and place your car before each corner. While you're figuring out a track's layout, I would recommend turning it on, but try to focus on the environment around you while you drive too. You'll notice helpful reference points like landmarks, signs, curbs and more, all of which give clues on how to go even faster. A new addition to F1 2021 is the colorblind racing line. Check it out in the menu if you're having trouble seeing the default version. When you play through the various career modes in F1 2021, look out for the track acclimatization program. You'll come across this during the free practice sessions. It's not there all the time, but when it is, it's worth doing. Now, when you head out on track, you'll see a bunch of gates on the road, and you'll earn points depending on how quickly you went through them. This is a great way to learn a track layout, and I've used it a lot in previous games, especially when visiting new places for the first time, like Circuit Zandvoort. For more detailed tips and tricks on every circuit in F1 2021, I have made guides for F1 2020 that will work for this game too. You can subscribe to check them out, but for now, let's continue. One of the challenges when driving a Formula 1 car comes when you push your limits and try to gain as much time as possible. By braking later, turning in more smoothly and using the full width of the road, you'll improve a lot. That being said, one thing to be extremely careful with are the curbs that line the edges of the track. In F1 2021, these can be rather punishing, even more so than in previous games. Some curbs are fairly flat and you can essentially treat them as an extension of the road surface. Others, however, are raised and will upset the balance of the car if you try to drive over them. In my time with F1 2021 so far, I have found that raised curbs on the inside of corners are the ones you need to be extremely careful with, especially at low speeds. Once you've learned the track layouts and begin to push for more performance, you'll naturally spin out and make mistakes. When this happens, look at the replay and see if it was the curb that spun the car. If it was, avoid that curb in future races. Speaking of racing, that's what we're here for, right? Let's set up a race and find you the experience further. Before that though, hit the like button if you're finding this video useful and let me know what you'd like to learn next. The best experiences in any racing game come when you're battling wheel to wheel with your rivals. Balancing the AI difficulty to your skill level helps enormously here, so let's find out how to do that. Set up a new Grand Prix and choose to race as Valtteri Bottas. We'll be using Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya for this test as it contains every type of corner, making it a well-balanced place to refine the AI. Make sure the weather is set to clear and that you're doing a short qualifying session. Next, choose your AI difficulty. If you're new to F1 games then go with 50, but if you've played older titles like F1 2020, choose whatever AI setting you used in that game. Once you're in the garage, head out on the flying lap right away. Give it your best effort and run two hot laps before returning. After this, swap out the tyres for a fresh set and do two more. 
You should have enough time to do a third run after this, but don't worry if you can't get another lap in. When qualifying ends, look at the standings and compare your time to Lewis Hamilton. For every second you're faster or slower than him, create a new Grand Prix and adjust the difficulty by 10. Your goal with this session is to just barely beat Lewis Hamilton, and we chose the Mercedes as it's a well-balanced and quick car to drive, with Hamilton as a fast opponent. If you're planning to race in F2, pick any car and aim to just barely get pole position instead. F2 cars drive differently to F1, so you might need separate AI settings for them. After a few attempts, you'll have tuned the AI perfectly to your skill level, leading to exciting racing. As you get better at the game, head back to this test if you feel you're too fast or too slow, as this is a setting that evolves alongside you. When it comes to settings, the most important ones to get right are your wheel, controller and camera. Check out the guides on screen now to get started. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I wish you the best of luck in your next race.